up to another good, good morning. Time to go. Feels like a paradise, isn't it? If you are a true biker or an avid traveler, it will. Yeah, I'm going for the ride. And by myself, I am alive. And I saw. Because this road is truly a paradise for all the wanderers out there. Rock with me in this second episode of a marvelous ride and I hope you stick through to the end where we reach a mesmerizing destination. As a recap, I started my ride from Sydney and traveled 900 kilometers to Melbourne on the first day. Check out the first episode of this series and I'll leave the link in the description. Unlike the first episode where I was mostly on the highway, today I'm riding from Melbourne city to a place called Port Campbell along the Great Ocean Road. As far as I know, the scenic coastal stretch starts from a place named Tarkey or Tarkey and goes all the way up to Peterborough though the road officially extends up to a place called Allensford near Warnambu. I'll leave a link to the location map as some of you might not be familiar with these places or names. I wouldn't be riding till the very end as I'm just interested in videographing only the road right along the coast. I'll tell you a bit more about the coastal road a bit later. For now, let's enjoy riding down this motorway. I am amused how distinguished Melbourne roads are when compared with Sydney. I don't know what these color panels are for, but they make me happy as I ride over them. Riding is all about enjoying every petty thing, isn't it? Alright, here is a pro trip. The world knows the fact that GPS devices have a mind of their own. So, when you do this route, set your GPS explicitly to go via Talkie and Anglesey. Sorry, Anglesey, Anglesey. Yeah. Otherwise, it might take you through an alternate, faster route that goes via Colac. Please pardon me for pronouncing the names wrong if I do so. You will ride through beautiful small towns like this and I'm pretty sure you can't just carry on without stopping for a coffee and admire these lovely little places. I'm sure I did. Fellow riders nod or wave hands at each other. That's common in many countries, but when I was at the roadside looking at my maps, I heard tires screeching and saw this truck pulling over right behind me. Not something usual. And so, was a moment of horror as it fell straight from that action movie where um, the killer robot pops out from the truck. But this kind trucky came down to share some cool spots along this road and did chat about motorbikes for a while. Later, I realized that he's a biker too. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. 174 brake horsepower, 277 kilometers an hour. Perfect. <laughs> I won't have a license for long. What a legend. Yeah. yeah. Alright, alright. Now, this is where things get interesting, guys. See? That wooden arch and statue. That commemorates the work of returned World War I soldiers who built this Great Ocean Drill. Great Ocean Road is an Australian National Heritage listed, hoping 240 km stretch of road along the southeastern coast of Australia. Now, let me show you the beauty of this ride and you'll agree why I call it a paradise for bikers. When you get this awesome coastal view with gentle twists and turns on smooth tarmac, 
for over 200 kilometers. What else to call it? It is the paradise. As this is such a lovely road, I didn't want to cut out much clips, so instead of making it too long, let's break it into two parts. If you plan to ride this road and have any questions or need any information, please drop a note in the comments and I'll try my best to help you out. The link to the next part should be popping up at the end screen, but if it isn't, it means we are still working on publishing it. Let's take a quick coffee break and continue with the ride in the second part. See you soon in the next part, bikers, the travelers, everyone of my friends. Bye, take care.